Hi, my Pisces. It's Jamie Zipper 23. I'm doing your week of June 12th, 2017 general tarot card reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Readings are done over the phone or through Skype. It's your choice. I have a one question, one answer for $5 via email only. My tarot card readings are $25, $50, and $75. I do all your readings within 24 hours to 72 hours after payment is received. I've got tarot card classes available, kits that I can ship out to you for love, money, protection. I also have spells for love, money, and protection. Everything will be in the description box. So here we go. You've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Five of Pentacles. And then you've got the Knight of Wands. So with these three cards here, guys. Okay. So you got water, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You've got fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And you've got earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got a water sign coming in. I feel like this is either somebody from your past or it could be a new one. This one actually wants good things with you. Um, this is positive energy. This person wants to offer you something. This person could be offering you love. This person could be offering you business opportunities, but there's an offer coming. Um, with the five of pentacles here, you may have an earth sign that's coming in. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This Capricorn Taurus or Virgo may already have somebody. This could be a man or a woman. They may already have somebody on the side. Or they're just getting out of a relationship. So they could be, this could be like a turn with you. It could turn into like a rebound. Also, watch your money this week because you could have financial difficulty. So at the top of the week, if money's good, don't go like blowing all your money and spending it. And then you're not going to have anything left at the end of the week. Some of you will be moving, changing residence. Some of you um, are having immigration issues or immigration issues towards someone else. Maybe your partner is having, um, having those issues or a family member close to you. And because of that, they may be relocating, changing their address, or hiding out. Yeah. Also, some of you have a fire sign coming in, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. This Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries is facing the past position. So, um, yeah. So, somebody from your past, it happens to be a fire sign. You may have not ended things on a good note with this person from the past you know it could have been a nasty situation a situation where you know you were uh, either you were left broken-hearted sad broke financially broke emotionally broke mentally or you left them that way and now but now they want to come back to you um i feel like with with these with these three cards together you got you guys might have a choice to make pisces or Pisces, you are with an earth sign and you're with a fire sign, not knowing who to choose. Because the five of pentacles means mistresses and um, side dudes, side chicks. But it also means financial difficulty. So, yeah. So beware of that kind of stuff. Also, um, with, this, with these two cards, fives typically symbolize disaster. So if you are juggling two people, Pisces... Uh, they might find out about each other and that could cause disaster for you, especially if the person you live with is um, is keeping you financially stable or somebody's helping you with something. It's saying try not to butt heads with someone. Also, some of you need to make a decision. If you don't make a decision soon, you might end up out on the streets. Also, many of you, you need to uh, take control of your lives. Your lives are out of whack. You're, you're getting a little bit unstable. You're losing touch with reality. You know, things are getting a little shifty um, to where, you know, before maybe people were like, eh, that person's just a little silly or a little bit different, a little eccentric. It's showing here that some of you may end up in a lot of trouble. People might make phone calls and be concerned about your, your mental stability or mental health. If you don't kind of like brain it, of course, if you're having mental health issues, you know, call the suicide hotline, whatever, whoever you need to call, you know, get some help. But for those of you that aren't, like, you're not there, but you're, mm, you're so, some of you are milking the hypochondriac thing for all it's worth. For those of you that are not really ill, but you're just acting like you're ill just to get attention, be careful because it could backfire. You don't want to end up locked up somewhere. I'm not talking about those who have serious issues. I'm talking about those that are, like, pretending or attention-seeking or... You know, really, if this is, this could be, this might not even be you, Pisces. This might be somebody connected to you that's doing this, and you see where things are going, 
and you're telling them, okay, you need to knock this off. You know, this isn't like cutesy stuff for Facebook for attention. Like somebody's going to do something. Somebody's going to say something. That's the kind of energy I pick up for, for some of you. This could be your teen children. This could be your, you know, your mother, your own mother or your father. They're like saying and doing weird things for attention, but you know that they're not, you know that, that they're okay and that this is may, maybe is, has been their MO for, you know, for your whole life. But, you know, they're, they're taking a little bit too far now to get attention that I guess maybe before they could get attention doing it, but now it's not working. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Um, yeah. All right, guys, have an amazing week of June 12, 2017. Ta-ta for now.